The Kimberley and Pilbara tour is one of my favourite journeys into the uh, northwest of Australia. It covers a wide diversity of unique locations and over an 11 day tour there's lots to see. It's stunning. Travelling in our flagship aircraft, the Beechcraft King Air, that combines the luxury and speed of a corporate jet with the ability to land almost anywhere in Australia. Kings Creek Station is a large cattle station which has now diversified into tourism. We stay in the drover's dream clamping tents, complete with air conditioning. A wonderful location up on the escarpment and uh, the sun rises and sunsets are a sight to see. So Kings Canyon is an ancient uh, rock formation with uh, very, very old plants, the cycads, um, spectacular rock faces and stunning colours as the sun moves through the sky. The Rimwalk is a four hour walk around the top of uh, Kings Canyon, stunning vistas of the, the rock face. Another walking option is a half hour walk up through the canyon where you're down looking up at the rock face and uh, once again absolutely stunning with the colours of the day. Finnis River Station is a 50,000 acre property located about 60 kilometres southwest of Darwin. The Ventura and family have owned the property for over 30 years and they run Brahmin cattle which are mainly raised for export. The lodge is set on uh, outstanding wetlands and we explore them by airboat. There's plenty of wildlife around, from crocodiles to birds and everything between. Back at the lodge, the view from the pool deck is stunning. Fine dining as well, they do an absolutely incredible job taking care of us while we're staying at the lodge. I've been going to the bungles for over 30 years and every time I go back completely blown away. It's just such an amazing landscape. We sit by the air on the way in and then we head into Cathedral Gorge on foot guided by our local hosts. Lunch in the gorge is ethereal, it's just so peaceful. Lake Argyll Dam was completed in 1971 as a major part of the Ord River scheme. It supplies the water that drives all of the agriculture industry in that entire valley. Lake Argyll itself is more than 700 square kilometres of water and it's now a Ramsar recognised important wetlands. Freshwater crocodiles, archer fish, pelicans, swans, there's lots to see. We cruise the northern part of the lake right on sunset. So to top the day, the highlight is to uh, watch the sunset over the water while you're swimming, and in some cases with a drink in hand. Fabulous. Sal Salis, a glamping resort, Ningaloo Reef, and right on the beach, probably 200 metres from the water, two minute walk to the water, fins on, and then 200 metres to the reef. Fabulous location. So the accommodation is glamping tents, ensuite at the back of the tent, air conditioning, every tent's got this sensational view out over the reef. Ningaloo Reef is World Heritage listed, it's a national park, it's the reef and it's the reef that supports the fish, the whale sharks, the humpbacks. The main attraction at Ningaloo is swimming with the whale sharks. It's a half day tour. Everybody gets the opportunity to be in the water, probably three, four metres from these large, large native animals, and it is outstanding. 
So Kerrijingi National Park is in the middle of the Pilbara in the Hammersley Range. It's one of the largest deep gorge national parks I've ever been to. Accommodation is the Kerrijingi Echo Camp. It's a glamping tent, uh, once again with en suites, air conditioning and uh, dining facilities in a common area. The only reason to go to Kerrijingi is to see the gorges. They're deep, they're red, they're orange, the white gums, the water at the bottom, it's spectacular, no other words. So one of the interesting spots that we visit is Coober Pudi, in the central outback of South Australia, and probably best known for its opal mining. Something like 80% of the population live underground. Heat's extreme in summer, underground is a nice stable temperature, about 18, 20 degrees. So when we're in Kubapiti, we get looked up by Aaron. Aaron's a local, been there for about 20 years, and he combines opal mining with uh, touring. And one of the outstanding locations that he takes us to is the breakaways. It's about 30 minutes north of Kubapiti. It's been the scene for a number of movies, and when you're out there, you can understand why the colours are just out of this world. Very special to watch the sunset, see the colours change with a glass of champagne and some nibbles.